Good morning to you once again. You are looking live over the downtown area. It's a clearer picture now, but we're still holding on to the clouds and we're still going to hold on to the flood watch that we have in effect until about 7 a.m. Then it's going to be allowed to expire. We also have the tropical alerts, the warning out in the eastern part of, view, of the viewing area. That too is going to go away, but look at southeastern Louisiana. Those rain amounts really did pile up. You could see anything in that purple, red, even a couple of blues indicating upwards of a Doppler estimated 8 to 10 inches. A big Big, big difference though as you went from the west side of Baton Rouge out to places like Lafayette they were barely even breathed on there just because of the eastward movement of the track this is current radar so we're not seeing anything on radar right now but I do want to leave in a 20% chance for today just in case we get a little bit of wrap around and some of the computer models are suggesting that we could get that whatever we get it'll be light it'll be brief and it's definitely not going to spoil the day or spoil the cleanup efforts and there you see still a couple of tornado watch boxes they're now outside of our viewing area because now we get this punch of dry, stable air, right? That's really going to shove this whole thing off and put on some speed. That's why it's taking off so quickly off to the north. As for the wraparound chance today, yeah, it's barely anything. My 20%, maybe it needs to be a 10%, but it is still going to be there. And then it starts to get out of here over the evening, so we start to clear out in the evening. And I think you're going to love the nighttime temperatures. We should actually drop down to the 60s late tonight into early tomorrow morning. So tomorrow, already shaping up like a better day. You could see that dip, that drop off in the dew point so that means moisture comes down a little bit definitely to be expected after a tropical storm moves out of the area now we got to get the power back on though that's going to be key because next two days not terrible but then we start to get into the weekend and we start to pump up those numbers a little bit and you're definitely going to want the air conditioning back on certainly this weekend for today we're going to be mostly cloudy but we'll see a little more sunshine as the day wears on high temperatures will be in the mid 80s 617 johnny a how are the roads